and welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made this, <laughs> I really tried. It was really fun and it's full of really fun things for toddlers. More activity based, less chocolate, um, and quite cheap too. It was easy to put together. I struggled with the wrapping, but hopefully, if you're gonna follow along, hopefully you won't, or you can just decide to not bother with this. But yeah, if you want to see how I made this, please stick around and watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, thank you and happy Easter. So, here is my basket full of goodies. Kind of tried to go for... I don't really know. I think a lot of it's not really that Easter themed. I kind of did a mix because Easter isn't forever, you know? And I think if you get a million Easter things in a month's time, none of it makes sense. <laughs> you just have lots of bunnies around the house. So, I don't know what to start with. So the first thing is this basket. I got from the works, four pounds. Very cute, very reusable. We'll definitely be reusing this. Okay. Oh, this is very hard. Wasn't expecting that. I also got this from the works, I think. I don't know where I got this, but it was a pound. I'm gonna chuck this and I don't know if I'm gonna need the whole package. Just wanna make it look a little more uh, fun and festive. Just to give it a little more color. Cute, huh? Cute. Okay, so one of the first things I wanted to do is we recently moved, so we now have a garden which has a deck, a garden, and a patio area. We are so lucky, three in one. And I got him some chalks to play with the patio. But I think this is too big, so I was gonna empty them out and scatter them around the basket to make them kind of cute, because they're all pastel colors anyway. So. I will probably end up finding a jar of some sort to keep these in. But right now, they're just gonna go in his basket. Hmm, there's actually duplicates. If I just put one of each color, in, one blue, one green, one purple, one yellow, one red, and one orange. That's so good. Well impressed. So, so far I have my chalks. They're all going to move. My, my chalks all in my basket, which I think looks so cute. No, they're not edible. So definitely watch your toddler if you're going to put chalk in their basket. It's not for eating. <laughs> um, what's the next thing? Blue Jay is obsessed with ducks. He's been obsessed with ducks forever. He cannot say duck or quack. He struggles with a k noise, so it's ah, ah, ah. So I thought, double up on the duck and car obsession and get him a ducky Hot Wheels. I think, I'm sorry, but that is so perfect for Easter. How cute. So cute. So chuck that one in. So I got him this little Easter egg. I don't want to get him too much chocolate. He's only 18 months old. I mean, it's going to take him forever, or me forever, to eat all of his chocolate. <laughs> so this is all the chocolate that's going in his basket. It's a little Kinder Bunny and one of the little Freddo eggs. They had loads of different of these miniature eggs, but they all come with like an egg and then a little packet of sweets. And I found almost every single one of them with the little packets of sweets were like throat sized sweets. I don't know, they're definitely just not for children. <laughs> it must be an adult thing because they're like the mini eggs or Rollos or just stuff I wouldn't let my toddler put in his mouth. I now have my chalk, my ducks and my Hot Wheels all in here, adorable, so cute. I'm gonna move on and put in my little Easter bunny. I have some flashcards to put in. Um, these were a little bit more expensive than I wish I had to spend on them, but I just, in the moment, I panic bought them. They were four pounds. I'm not sure. I know, maybe I'm just stingy, but four pounds for some pieces of card. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Try to put them in nicely. Now, I also got him, like I said, he's obsessed with ducks and I feel awful he doesn't have a duck yet. So I got him this little duck from the works and pull the tag off. Now I was gonna sit him in this little bucket I got, which I think was the works or Poundland. Everything I got was either from the works or Poundland, unless I say so. Um, but yeah, I thought he could do his little Easter egg hunt with this bucket and then at least it's reusable and he can like use it in the garden because he loves to collect rocks and mud. 
So I thought I'd stick his little ducky in the bucket, which looks cute, and pop him. Hmm. The front side here, I feel like I'm putting too much in on one side. I got him some Pokemelon stickers. They were $1.99. I got them from like a boss man's. These were not from Poundland or anything. The only stickers I could find in Poundland were either like really little or flimsy looking and he's just started using stickers and these look big enough for him to be able to actually pick off himself. Seeing as we're going for a more blue and yellow theme, I will use the blue sheet of stickers and the yellow sheet. Like this. I kind of ended up moving the chalks all to like one spot instead of scattering them around. The next thing I got for his basket was these bunny bubbles. We love bubbles. I don't know. It's kind of gone off of them recently. I blame the amount of times bubbles we used at those kids group, you know. I don't know. That's cute, I think. And then last but not least for his basket, I got him these because like I said, we recently moved into a garden and I thought we could get into some gardening. And again, those kind of match the cute little theme. I need scissors because I'm going to break them. Yeah, these were also from the works and they were 79p each. I think they make a really cute little addition. So this is everything I have in my basket so far. I will obviously organize it a little bit nicer and then put my wrap on. But here we have our bucket with our ducky, our Hot Wheels duck, Easter kinder thingy, <laughs> um, these spinners, so cute. We've got our Coco Melon stickers, our flashcards, which I need to take the price off of. I'll do that in a second. Freddo eggs, chalks, bubbles, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that's way more than enough. Honestly, it's probably a little too much, but I just wanted to get a good amount of ideas, you know, aside from chocolate, because I feel like all I can ever see in these videos and things to give your kid a toddler basket or whatever is just always so much chocolate. And chocolate is fine. Obviously, it's the point of Easter, but I just think, oh, bit much. Before his Easter egg hunt to use this bucket and collect all his chocolates, I got him these eggs. Again, they were from Poundland. They're just like those little, they're hollow. All of the chocolate says on it, whether they're hollow or not. So definitely look out for that. These are all hollow. So when he like takes a bite, they won't, they're not like thick, like throat lodgy. And we also got these cute little farmyard animals, which are also hollow. They're like, wrapped up like little sheep and things, which I think he will love. Again, we're just gonna spread these two kind of bags around the garden and then go search with him. But I think that'll be more than enough because he's probably gonna be super confused by all of this anyway. <laughs> like, wish me luck, I have to wrap it now. I mean, it could be cuter, but it could be more expensive too, so win-win, huh? Not really. Not really. I'm quite impressed. I think he's still going to be excited. It might not be the most aesthetic or beautiful, but I really tried. If you stuck around until this part of the video, thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share if you want to ruin someone's day. No, I'm joking. Share. <laughs> share my hard work. I think what's bugging, bugging me is how bad the cellophane is. It's my fault for sure, I haven't pulled it torn enough. But once I got to a certain point, I just thought, screw it, that will do.